This time, we're diving into some of Japan's mind-blowing theories about One Piece that aren't well known in the US. In this video, we're uncovering the still hidden mysteries of the cross marks scattered throughout the One Piece world. The secret symbolism of the sun and the moon represented by Luffy and Blackbeard and the intricate history of the internal split within the D clan. We'll be breaking down these hot topics from Japan in a way that's easy to understand, so make sure to stick around till the end. If you find yourself astonished by the deep secrets hidden in the world of One Piece, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're craving to learn more about the truth behind the D clan, drop a comment with, tell me more. Now, let's get started. In the world of One Piece, numerous symbols make their appearances. Have you ever paid attention to these symbols? Specifically, in the world of One Piece, the frequency of cross symbols appearing is abnormally high. Many characters, including Mihawk, are associated with crosses in some way. For instance, there's a scene where Zoro is crucified after his battle with King. Moreover, when Zoro first appeared in the story, he was tied to a cross. Characters like the sisters from Whiskey Peak, techniques used by Odin and Ace, and others like Ors, Moria, Caribou, and Korribu feature crosses prominently in various scenes. Interestingly, in the SBS section of the first volume, it's explicitly mentioned that pirate flags often incorporate the cross design. I've been paying attention to the use of crosses for a while now, but I noticed that the design combining a cross and a circle, particularly in the cover story of episode 266, seems to represent the sun. This design of the sun, represented by a cross combined with a circle, can be seen in many instances. So, I pondered if this cross and circle design might be related to the sun and decided to investigate. Upon researching, I discovered the existence of a symbol known as the sun cross. The sun cross has been interpreted as a symbol of the sun since ancient times. Now, how does this sun cross appear in the narrative of One Piece? The first appearance of the sun god is in the Sky Island Saga. The altar on Sky Island was dedicated to the sun god. Sun worship inspired tattoos on Wiper and murals seen by Enel also depict the sun cross. In Flavance, where Law grew up, the cross held by his sister seems to be a symbol of the sun. If this symbol truly represents the sun, it would be inconvenient for the government. This solar symbol is also prominently designed on Kuma's clothing. The design on the pants, which at first glance might seem like a dummy, actually includes a cross upon closer inspection. Could it be that the mark used by the government is also a countermeasure against the sun symbol? The Kazuki family's crest also seems to harbor some mystery, and even the title of One Piece might be related to the sun symbol. Aitro Oda has mentioned that there are hints in the title. There's an interpretation that the eye in One Piece represents a mermaid, but I suspect it might indicate the sun cross. This is because a typical pirate flag doesn't overlap a circle and a cross. When you overlay the grand line and the red line, and then consider this blue planet, the sun cross emerges. Could this sun cross complete the formation of the four seas? We mustn't forget Luffy's momentous defeat of the Emperor Kaido. Even in the scene of the final blow, you can see the sun cross depicted. Further investigation into the sun cross revealed it shares the same design as the Celtic cross. In Celtic mythology, the sun plays a significant role. In Celtic mythology, the Triskelion symbolizes solar energy. Have any of you seen this pattern before? It's the same pattern found on the gum gum fruit. The concept of Nika wasn't just tacked on later. The Triskelion pattern is believed to represent a triple threat. In Japanese, the term Mitsodomo refers to three forces competing with each other, like a Mexican standoff. When thinking of Luffy's adversaries, Blackbeard immediately comes to mind, and I think that Luffy could be the sun god, and Blackbeard the moon god. However, Luffy's iconic straw hat actually serves to protect him from the sun. Don't you find that contradictory? 
Why would a sun god need protection from the sun? And why is the moon present in the background of scenes featuring the sun god Nika? Why do Luffy, symbolizing the sun, and Blackbeard, symbolizing the moon, share the same D lineage? Despite Luffy and Blackbeard being adversaries, why does I.M. harbor animosity towards both? Why is D, supposedly descendants of gods, called the natural enemy of gods? The narrative resolves many contradictions by presenting not a duel, but a triple threat scenario. Most people believe the conflict between D and the government is a simple rivalry. Yet, the truth remains unnoticed. Originally, the D clan was unified under one deity, but split into the Sun D and Moon D factions. Imagine a third party intervening, seeking to claim divinity for themselves. They rewrote history to crown themselves as gods, eclipsing the true narrative. The sun god's fruit, consumed by Luffy, actually belongs to the moon lineage. Conversely, the moon god's fruit, consumed by Teach, belongs to the sun lineage. Viewed through this lens, numerous story contradictions are resolved. Consider the Sun D and Moon D as semicircles. Combined, they form a perfect circle. The once unified divine clan was torn asunder by internal strife, and their divine title usurped. The theme of a three way conflict is recurrent throughout One Piece. For instance, in Alabasta, the royal army, the rebels, and Baroque works form such a triangle. Similarly, in Whole Cake Island, the Charlotte family, the Vinsmoke family, and the Straw Hat crew were entangled. In Wano Country, this dynamic is represented by the Kazuki clan, the Korizumi clan, and Kaido. Notice how frequently these triangular relationships appear throughout the narrative. Furthermore, the Tarai current connects three pivotal locations, Impel Down, Eni's Lobby, and Marine Headquarters. We must also pay attention to the spirals. In the Florian Triangle, swirling patterns were seen in the tumultuous skies. Squared of the Giant Squid also disrupted the one-on-one -on -one narrative. It appears we need to consider the relationship between the Gum Gum Fruit's spiral pattern, the sun, and a three-way conflict. The key lies in the connection. Gum Gum Fruit's spiral equals the sun equals a tripartite relationship. To delve deeper, let's focus on Sky Island. The setting of Sky Island is inspired by the Mayan ruins in Mexico and Guatemala. The Usmal and Tikal ruins, and even the Indiana Jones attraction building in Tokyo Disney Sea, draw from the Tikal ruins in Guatemala. When the Sundi and Mundi split, and everything gets reversed, all contradictions are resolved. The idea of the world turning upside down also becomes plausible. This isn't the final answer, but a scenario without contradictions. As for the reason behind their split, I believe it was due to a sibling feud. Let's dive into the explanation for this reasoning. Are you familiar with Adam and Eve? This biblical tale is thought to be the origin of the devil fruit. Adam and Eve famously partook in the forbidden fruit. Well, not as well known in Japan, it is said that the fruit got stuck in Adam's throat. That's why the Adam's apple is so named, a story well known enough to lend its name to the laryngeal prominence in several languages, including French, German, and Italian. The treasure tree Adam and the sunlight tree Eve are bound to play significant roles towards the story's climax, making it likely that the author drew some inspiration from the Bible. Considering the devil fruits, it's plausible they originated from these trees. Just as those who ate the forbidden fruit were banished from paradise, those who consume a devil fruit are expelled from the sea, rendered unable to swim. The tale of Cain and Abel, sons of Adam and Eve, is another well-known story where the older brother kills the younger, echoing the narrative between Doflamingo and Corazon. The scenario might revolve around a fallout between the sun and the moon. At its core, One Piece is a quintessential shonen manga, so it stands to reason there would be entities representing the sun opposing the Lunarians. The Lunarians could be a combination of Luna and Arians. Given Luna contrasts with Sol, 
it's plausible soul elements are yet to emerge. In Spanish, Luna means moon and Sol means sun. If we hypothesize Aryans versus Germans, Lunarians could counter Solmans. Exploring uncharted territories in the storyline, various possibilities linked to Sol seem undeniable, with suspicious characters already hinted at. Kuma and Bonnie's mysterious connection to Sol further intrigues, though Sorbet in French, meaning ice, might be a red herring. Regardless, the narrative is rich with elements of summer, the sun, straw hats, one-piece dresses, sunflowers, festivals, and ice cream. The significance of the Triskelion cannot be overstated. When it comes to trios, one cannot help but think of the World Heritage Site, Jerusalem. The connection between One Piece and World Heritage Sites is something I'm sure you're all too familiar with by now. Jerusalem serves as a sacred place for three different religions. It was a setting for a triadic religious war. The Christian Crusaders fought against the Islamic armies to reclaim their lost land, a battle to regain what was taken. However, since we're still awaiting more information to confirm further details, let's hold off on concluding this narrative for now. This triadic symbol, seen in various forms, also appears in other places. Notice the pattern of Anel's drums and Senor Pink's attire? Familiar with the name of this pattern? It's not the Sharingan, it's called Tomoe, representing three comas or swirls. Interestingly, the kanji for Tomoe signifies a serpent. And remember, Luffy's finishing move was Cobra. The cover of Volume 30 deserves attention too. The symbol is also found on the chests of the D family from Flavance and in that memorable scene with Shanks. Even Luffy's departure is marked by this symbol. Have you started believing in the connections of these symbols? Remember the liar Norlin's tail, adorned with sun swirls? Seems like a confirmation, doesn't it? Jinbei's face is also encircled with swirls, fitting for a former member of the Sun Pirates. His attire even features sunflowers. However, lately, Jinbei has been seen in diamond-patterned clothes. Could there be a connection between diamonds and the sun? What comes to mind when you think of diamonds? It's hard to stray from the topic of the sun. The conversation turns back to Skypea and serpents, specifically the Tomoe symbol. Have you noticed Kashigami's back pattern? What could it represent? The card game elements in One Piece are intriguing, aren't they? Recall Dressrosa Joker Doflamingo. His executive's names are all based on Spanish card suites. Heart is Corazon, Spade is Pica, Diamond is Diamante, and Club is Trebol. Kaido's top executives are named King, Queen, and Jack. The Flying Six are also named after card game terms. The Ace in Spanish means 10, and it's also a term used in card games. Could there be a connection between the Spade Pirates and Pika? Probably not. But of course, Ace is related to cards. The Ace of Spades is considered the strongest card in a deck. The word Spade in the Spade Pirates signifies death. Aichiro Oda once mentioned that Ace was introduced with the intention of his eventual demise. The Heart Pirates are associated with love, as Corazon means heart in Spanish. We've yet to see clubs and diamonds pirates, but there's Barto Club. Clubs might employ force or war. Ace, Law, and Bartolomeo, all allies of Luffy, and those related to diamonds could also be his allies. The diamond folks likely refer to the Revolutionary Army, who have all aided Luffy. Dragon's facial tattoo features three diamonds, the weakest card in the Japanese card game, Daifugo. However, in Daifugo, using a revolution rule can turn this weakest card into the strongest. Dragon hails from and initiated the revolutionary army in the East Blue, the weakest sea. That's all for today. Here on this channel, we post regular theories about One Piece from Japan. If you like One Piece, we would be happy if you could support us by subscribing to our channel and commenting. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in the next video.